Welcome, my butter lovers. This is Keisha, your host, and I welcome you to A Pinch of Butter. I hope you are hungry, and I hope you're ready to laugh. So let's get on in. Everybody, we're getting ready to make candied bacon. Give me just one second. Give me one second. I know you're just here. I know you hear my stove going off. I have decided to go ahead and preheat my oven. Went to Kroger's this morning and I got some extra th thick cut bacon. And I am using. Michelle's, from my family to yours, Michelle's Gourmet Butter Pecan Syrup. I don't know if you guys can see that. Kind of excited about this. And I know, I know everyone usually use brown sugar, but me being me, I'm gonna try something a little different. We're gonna see how this works. If I mess up, shh, don't tell nobody. So I'm going to put just a little bit of syrup in the bowl. And I used about two, two um, tablespoons of syrup. I know it looked like I just threw it in there, but I'm a country girl, so that means I measure with my eyes and my spirit. And I'm going to use about a tablespoon of sugar. Mix everything up really, 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 really well. I know y'all can't smell this, but it is amazing. And again, for those that just came on, I use Michelle's Gourmet Butter Pecan Syrup. And I have Kroger's brand extra thick cut bacon and I'm making candy bacon. I keep telling myself that I'm always going to clean up while I'm cooking. It never happens. So y'all bear with me. Okay. You can see the consistency of my syrup mixture. And this, and also this requires you to have an oven, I mean a wire rack, but unfortunately I just moved and I do not have my wire rack unpacked yet. So I just use an old pan with some aluminum foil. Again, we're experimenting together. Take my bacon, just kind of. Lay it out on my pan, and again, I will you. I just don't have a lot of a lot of my items again since I just moved. I'm gonna lay all my bacon out on my pan, and then take something and just kind of brush the bacon. And because I am experimenting, I'm only gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. So just take. If you don't have a brush, just take a spoon, the back of a spoon, and kind of pour the mixture on it. Rub it across. You don't have to be stingy. Use as much as you like. Uh-oh. 
Sorry, guys. And again, all I'm doing is putting my mixture on both sides because there's no fun in having candy bacon with just one side all nice and sweet and delicious. Look like I ran out, so I guess my measurement measuring was not as precise as I thought, but that's okay again. When you're in the kitchen, it's not about being precise, it's about having fun and enjoying yourself. Unless you're baking. Now, if you're baking, I have learned that you have to be specific with your measurements. And again, I'm just mixing up syrup and sugar and kind of pouring, pouring it on both sides. And save some for a little later. Because when, once, once it's cooking, once the bacon is cooking, you're going to, about halfway through, you're going to flip it up, take it out, flip it over, and pour a little bit more on it. So again, here's my bacon with my maple syrup. Here we go, sorry guys. Here is my bacon with my syrup and my sugar. And I'm getting ready to place it in my preheated oven. Again, we'll go over just a few things that I went over just a few minutes ago. You're supposed to have a wire rack, but again, like I said, I just moved downtown and I have not finished unpacking and I was in the mood for some candy bacon. So here we go. I used Michelle's butter pecan syrup and I used Kroger's extra thick cut bacon. And I just put it in the oven. It's gonna it's gonna cook for about 30 minutes. And then by what about 15 minutes, we are gonna go in and flip everything over and put some more of our special sauce on it. I see I have a few people in the live with me. If y'all have any questions, this is the time to ask any questions you may have. Here we go. And see, I, did, I never clean up while I'm cooking. I'm that person that finishes cooking and have food and sauce and stuff everywhere. My family thinks it's hilarious. And uh, while I got you guys here, while we were letting the bacon cook, earlier today I was, I had some macaroni and cheese left over. So I decided I was going to try to make a meal with that and I made beefaroni. So I used macaroni and cheese. I got some hamburger meat, seasoned it with onions, peppers, salt and pepper, Lipton's onion mix, mixed everything together. Um, and then once, that, once the hamburger meat was cooked, I then put marinara sauce on it, mixed everything put sugar on, no, excuse me, not sugar, I'm sorry, put cheese on it, and then baked it. So let's go take a look at all that yummy goodness that's on the stove. So we have some beefaroni. Hey guys, welcome back. If you were with me for the first half of this video, we are making candy bacon and of course we had to pause because i put everything in the oven but for those that are just joining let me like kind of show you what we've been doing i got some michelle's butter gourmet butter pecan syrup some sugar and kroger's brand extra thick cut bacon this is the best bacon i have ever had you've got to try it 
Then I mix my brown sugar, I mean, mix my sugar, mix the syrup together, and then I put it over the bacon and I put it in the oven. Well, it has been baking for about 15 minutes. So let's take a look and see what we got, guys. I wish y'all could smell what I smell. Let me bring it a little closer. I need y'all to look at that goodness that we have before us. I'm gonna flip it over. Now that is burnt just a little bit, but again, Again, I'm just flipping everything over. As I told you guys earlier, I'm experimenting for the very first time. So, push you up so you can see me a little bit. I'm experimenting for the very first time, so bear with me. But that looks and smells fantastic. So, I was gonna add some more stuff to it, but it looks like there's a lot still on the bottom, on the, on the tray. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of sugar. And then I'm gonna put it back in the oven for, hmm, just, I would say, because everything looks amazing already, I would say another five minutes. When you bring it out, it's going to still look a little flimsy but the more you let it sit and the more you let it cool, the harder the, the sugar is going to get and the more crisp, the crispier it's going to get. So again, don't do what I did the very first time I tried to make candy bacon and eat it as soon as it comes out of the oven. Again, I have a thing. As soon as food comes straight out of the oven, I'm ready to eat it. I'm ready to taste it. I've got to see what it, whether I need to add something to it. And... With this, you should not because of course the sugar is extra hot, the syrup is extra hot, and you're gonna burn yourself. And I don't wanna be responsible for you burning yourself. So, take your time and let it just cool off. But again, we're gonna let this cook for another, I'd say five to 10 minutes. I'm gonna turn my timer on, because again, I will forget. And I'll see you guys right back here in just six minutes. Welcome back everybody. Us, this is the third video and we are doing candy bacon. Well, I took everything out of the oven and I put it in the refrigerator just to kind of firm it up a little bit because as I told you guys, I absolutely love eating things as soon as it comes out of the oven. And my patience is really, really, really thin. So, have a plate for you guys. Put it on the plate and show you how it looks. And if this is your first time checking in, I'm gonna show you exactly the syrup I use. It is Michelle's Butter Pecan Syrup with Sugar and Kroger's Thick Cut Bacon. You guys can see that. And this is my end result. But while I have your attention, let me go over just a few things with you. I just kind of want to tell you some of the do's and don'ts when you're making candy bacon. Again, as I told you guys, I just moved so there's boxes all in the in the kitchen so I do apologize let's turn that so y'all don't look 
at my unorganization. But anyway, back to what I was saying. To um, some of the do's and don'ts when you're making candy bacon, be very careful and pay attention when it's in the oven because syrup and sugar burns really, really easy, especially when it's oven, in the oven on bacon. Had to learn that the hard way. But, um, so instead of doing 30 minutes in the oven, I would pay attention around 15 minutes because it's usually the right consistency is cooked to perfection. And like I said, once you take it out, it will harden up a little bit. And um, one more don't, I would also say uh, when you, earlier in one of my videos, I explained, I said for you to baste it again, do not do that because again, you don't want to put too much syrup on it or it will definitely burn and not have the right taste. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate every single one of you being here. Again, I am Keisha for from A Pinch of Butter. And while I have your attention, I'm gonna tell you just a little bit about me. I am the CEO of A Pinch of Butter. I am a passionate food blogger. I love introducing hungry guests to restaurant owners. I am excellent at marketing. I have three food journals. I also have a Taking, taking Control of My Destiny um, journal that are all um, available on Amazon. I'll be sure to put the link inside of the, inside of the bio. And I also have a website. If you would like to read more from me, it's on www.apinchofbutter.com. And I can be reached for any content writing at 404-992-6219. Again, this is Keisha from A Pinch of Butter. It has been a pleasure having you here and I can't wait to see you again. And also, one more thing before I let you go. Thank you for checking me out on Foodie TV.